The Supporting Academic Freedom Through Regulatory Relief Act, or SAFRA as it's called, is this crazy right-wing bill that's making its way through committee. And what it does is blocks three Department of Education requirements for for-profit colleges. So uh, what those requirements are, the first one is meant to improve oversight of the schools that receive taxpayer education dollars by involving state authorities in combating waste, fraud, and abuse. Another sets a threshold of 35% of graduates actively repaying loans in order for schools to continue to receive federal funds. And the third is called the credit hour rule, which prevents schools from getting taxpayer funding if they say they've provided an hour of educational value while actually spending far less time on students. And that happens a lot with online courses, for example. So uh, these are all common sense regulations. And uh, by the way, if you take money from the government, which all of these for-profit schools do, you should be subject to government requirements. That's obvious because you're taking our money. So you're uh, at the least a quasi a public institution. Well, uh, Republican Virginia Fox disagrees. She doesn't see it that way. She doesn't think that uh, these requirements are common sense. She is for uh, this bill, which of course seeks to strike down these requirements. And she said, quote, it is not the role of Congress to make college affordable and accessible. Now let me stop there. Even if you're a Republican, when you hear that, do you really think that makes sense? And do you really think Virginia Fox is looking out for you? She just told you, I don't care about college being affordable and accessible. Why? Because I'm out of college. It's not about me. I'm a selfish prick. All I care about is myself. All my constituents who go to college, <laughs> don't care. Get the fuck out of here. She's telling you she doesn't think the government has any role in doing that. Yeah, but wait a second. If the government got out completely, only the rich would be able to go to school. That's obvious. They're the only ones with money. No, I mean, these guys are completely radical, but she's not done yet. She's just getting started. She argued having these rules to make sure taxpayers don't get hosed is equivalent to totalitarianism. Wait, so let me get this straight. The taxpayer, we give money to for-profit colleges. And then they can turn around and tell us to fuck off and there's no rules associated with it. Even if there's waste, fraud, and abuse when you give us the money, even if only 35% of our graduates are repaying loans, uh, even if we teach a class for five minutes and you funded us for an hour of teaching a class, according to Virginia Fox, it's totalitarianism for us to tell the for-profit schools, hey look, if you want to continue taking money from us, you guys got to do your job right and limit the fraud and abuse and we need to make sure that everything's working properly. That's totalitarianism to Virginia Fox. Man, you must have no idea what totalitarianism is. And can we also note for a second the uh, hypocrisy of somebody who claims to be in favor of small government, but they are begging the government to fund for-profit colleges that are screwing us over anyway. She's, uh, Virginia Fox says, no, 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 government fund, fund the for-profit schools, fund them, fund them, fund them. Even if they're messing up, I don't care, all the money. Isn't that big government? Wouldn't you be in favor of big government if that's what you're doing? But that is big government. There's no interpretation. You're saying, fund it no matter what. Now, uh, you might be wondering, well, why, why is she being a blatant hypocrite? Why is she being so unreasonable on this issue? Well, when you look uh, into her past, oh, wow, look at that. The for-profit school industry has given Virginia Fox over $68,000 in funding during her political career. What a shock. Now, for those of you who might not follow politics closely on a regular basis, this is how the United States of America functions in a nutshell, how its government functions in a nutshell. So uh, politician X takes money from industry X and then turns around and makes sure that industry X gets whatever they want, even if it's at the expense of their constituents and the American people and even poor kids just trying to go to school. There's something very, very sick going on here. And Virginia Fox should be ashamed of herself. And the system should be ashamed of itself. And we need to change it immediately.